בסדר. Halacha says, number one, in regards to the Kiddush, one should try to get himself wine. Even for those people that uh, all year round, their Kiddush or whatever they use is uh, grape juice or whatever it is, for the night of the Seder, one should try to have wine and preferably red wine. Again, because that is better Hayut. That's the way free men, they drink alcohol, they drink things that have uh, alcohol, they, they have some kind of alcohol inside the beverage. Mashiach and grape juice, which obviously does not have. Obviously for children and others that cannot have it, for whatever the reasons are, then in such a case they can be yotze with uh, grape juice. Second halakha, which is very important, is in regards to heseva. Heseva is not something that if you want to do it, you do it. If you don't want, it's up to you, you decide. Halakha says that it's ma'akir. And therefore, even bizman azir, a person has to make sure to lean to make sure to lean to the right, to the side that's correct, which is the left side. Again, leaning to the right side would be wrong. And therefore, one who leans either the wrong way, or he doesn't lean at all, halakha is as if he didn't do it yet, and therefore he has to redo it again. Now, there is a little difference between men and women in regards to this, even though men and women should both lean, but women that forgot to lean, they don't have to do it again. Men have to redo it again. Again, for whatever the reasons are, we're not going to go into all the details. But again, it's really a hayu for both to lean. Men, women, children, whoever is drinking, whoever is eating the matzah, has to lean for all the times that, again, during Kiddush and the Achilat Matzah, we have to make sure to lean. If you don't lean, you're going to have to redo it again. So therefore, one should make sure to tell the people prior to the Kiddush, prior to the Hamotzi, to make sure that they're all going to lean in order that they don't have to be mevatel, you know, they're wasting the mitzvah, haram, that they did the mitzvah and they really didn't do it because they forgot to lean or they didn't know that they have to lean. One last halakha in regards to kiddush. Does every person have to say the kiddush? And the halakha says, berov am hadrat melech. So just like on Shabbat, the father says the kiddush or the baalabayit says the kiddush and everyone just listens and then they drink a little bit. Mm-hmm. So too, even though the night of Pesach, everybody has a cup of Kiddush, a whole cup, the halakha is that everybody listens, and the Baal Abayit says the Kiddush. However, if the Baal Abayit that's saying the Kiddush is not saying every single word, you're afraid maybe he's skipping, or maybe he doesn't, uh, he's stuttering, he's not saying it uh, correctly. So therefore, in such a case, if one wants to say the Kiddush, he'd be allowed to say it. It's not a suit. However, it is preferable the Baal Abayit should say the Kiddush and everyone should listen and be okay with his Kiddush. So, uh,